Hello again, everybody. This is the Red Soners. Today it's going to be me, Alex. Um, I'm coming at you with another modding installation tutorial or mod installation tutorial on the Ether mod, and that includes Mod Loader, Audio Mod, Shock, um, the Shock mod. I don't know exactly what it's called, but that's how you, how you can make Audio mod. I mean, uh, Ether mod work. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to install all of that. And uh, the, a lot of people have been wanting me to do this video, and I finally had time to do it, so here it is. Um, thanks for all the subscribers. Got some new subscribers from the new Too Many Items video. Go check it out as well. Go check us, and also go check out the single player commands video if you didn't already see it. So um, I think we're ready. Let's get started. Before you start, um, I want you to go to your Minecraft, open that up. And if you haven't already, you're gonna to want to update to 1.7.3 right here. So you're gonna to go to uh, you're gonna to go to well if you update, update it and go to up 1.7.3. Um, and now what you're gonna to want to do is go to your browser, go to Google, Google, okay, and we're gonna to want to type in Ether like that. It's replace the N like Nether for a mod like that. And then you should see at the top something says coming soon the other collab, but if you look down a little, it should you should see these little tiny tiny links, and the second tiny link it should say 1.7.3 other collaboration mod. Open that one up. That's the one you want. So we should open that up. I'll put the link in the description if you can't find it. So scroll down a little. You should see this. You should see this picture right here. Scroll down a little, and these are all the links that you need to download everything. So first of all, we're going to right click on the other mod, download, open link in a new tab, open the mod loader one, and the shock AHPI, and audio mod is on the same page as mod loader. And I would add an advertisement playing, so I'm just skip that. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So the first um, thing you're going to download is the other mod itself. So it should bring you to that ad fly link, skip the ad, and it should bring you to a media fire link. So you're going to click start to download, it should start downloading. It, it takes a little while, like a minute, not too long. But now we're going to go to Rigasami's mods page. We're going to scroll down to mod loader, the mods right here. It says mod loader beta 1.7.3. Click whatever you want, ad fly direct. Ad fly, like I said before, gives money to the modder. So I want to do direct to make the video shorter. And also you're going to scroll down to audio mod, even though it says 1.7 underscore zero one, um, that's it still works for the one the uh, 1.7.3. So download that as well. And also you you may see that uh, I have duplicates of these because I already have them installed in my downloads folder. So yours will look different and say audio mod zip. So while we're waiting for um, oh, and also we haven't done Shaka's mods, which is the uh, the Shock HPI. So scroll down a little, and you should see it right at the top, right under change log. You should see something that says spoiler. Show like press to show, and um, download that big download link right there. And it should bring you to AdFly. Five seconds. Oh, these these ads are great. <laughs> So annoying. All right, let's go skip that. Skip the ad, and it should be downloaded. Everything should be downloaded now. So you can click out of your browser, go to your Finder, and go to your Downloads. And yeah, mine will look. Yours will look a little different because mine's pretty jumbled up right now. So let me just delete these. Hold on. Sorry about this. So yeah, you should see the modeler.zip, the audio mod.zip, the shock HPI, r5.zip, and the other 1.7.3.zip. So you're going to double click all those to unzip them. Um, double click them. And one more. There we go. So, and see this is the thing I don't get where did it go. There it goes. It just like takes a while for it to spot pop up. Oh, so just sorry about that. So you should get four folders. Select all those. Put them in your desktop. We're gonna make it easier that way. 
you don't need the zip files anymore if you want to delete them. So now we're going to want to do just have those in your desktop for now. Go to your finder and for Snow Leopard users, because I'm using OSX Lion, um, for Snow Leopard, you're going to want to go to your username, mine's Rios, and you'll see all these files. You're going to up, open up the library folder and just wait there for now. So for OSX Lion users, at the very top of your menu bar, you should see something that says Go. Press that and scroll down to Go To Folder. And you want to type in the squiggly line, which is right under the escape key. So you're going to type in, you're going to press shift and then the squiggly line, slash, L, capital L, I, B, R, A, R, Y, library. And then press go. Should bring you to this. And now OSX line users and um, Snow Leopard users should see the exact same thing. So we're going to open up application support, which at the top, open that up. Scroll down to the M's, which is there should see a Minecraft folder. Open that up, and you'll come up to this Minecraft folder. Ignore everything else for now, and yours may look a little different from mine, so it's okay. So open up the bin folder, which is at the top, and you'll see all these jar files. At the bottom, it should say Minecraft.jar. You're going to want to right-click that, open with. So for Snow Leopard, you're going to open with the archive utility, and for OS6 line, you're going to open up with the unarchiver. And I'll put a link in the description for that. So open that up. And the same, you know, Snow Leopard. Just just press it, and it should do the same thing. Give you a Minecraft folder. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to rename that Minecraft.jar folder to whatever you want. I just make mine backup.jar Minecraft backup jar, and the new folder we made. We're going to put dot .jar at the end. It should say, would you like to add, and press add. So there we have it, a Minecraft.jar folder. So you're going to open that up, and we're ready to install stuff. But first, before you do anything, go down to the M's. Just press M to get there faster. You should see something called meta-inf. Open that up, and delete all those files in there. Trust me, it's not going to do any harm to your Minecraft folder. And just leave that there for now. It's good. You don't need it anymore. Just leave it there. So now we're gonna open up. Let's first of all we're gonna do the mod loader. So we're gonna open up the mod loader folder, which is in our desktop. Have it there. We wanna copy all those classes that are in the mod loader folder. So copy them all. You should be copying, I think, 15 items. Yeah. Go back to your Minecraft.jar folder and paste those 15 items. And it should say, "Would you like to apply to all and replace?" Press apply to all and then replace. So it should be replaced. And if you want to see successfully installed on, you should see base mod class right there. Okay, so you don't need mod loader. Click out of that. Now you're going to, want to do audio mod next. So this is a little more trickier than mod loader, but still not too bad. So we're going to want to copy, we're going to want to select IBXM and the YO.class. So copy those. There's two items. Oh, sorry about that. And you want to paste them into the Minecraft.jar and you want to replace. Should replace. And now here comes a little tricky part. Go back to your audio mod folder. Open up the pulse code folder, the sound, the codex. Should you get this thing called codex dot I mean codex ibxm.class. Leave that there. And now what you want to do in your Minecraft.jar, go down to the P's, just press P should see pulse code, open up pulse code, open up the sound folder, and you should see codex, which is at the very top, codex, and then you should see these class files, leave those there, go back to that codex folder that was in the audio mod folder, copy that dot class file, go back to your micro, the, uh, the minecraft.jar codex folder, and paste it into there with those two other dot class files. You should have three now, so go back to your minecraft.jar itself, and you can click out of your audio mod and now it's time to install shock AHPI double click that and um, you should see this thing the bin folder the, the bin folder at the very top double click that and now you're gonna copy I think almost like 120 folders files just copy all those no, no, that's that's actually not here. That's there's 32 items. So, so copy all those and paste them to your Minecraft.jar. Apply to all and replace. There you go. Really simple.
And yeah, and also the shock folder. Just um, ignore the SRC only if you're a modder. And for README, just ignore that. So you're done with shock. And finally, the last thing we can do is the other mod, the other mod itself. This is a little long to do, but it's pretty good, pretty easy. So we're gonna open up the jar folder, and you should see all these files. Mm -hmm. This is one of the one there's like 128. So we're gonna click the bottom one and shift to click the top one. And then you're gonna unselect the one that says armor, unselect that, so you should have everything else selected besides the armor folder. And you should be copying 188 items. Go back to your Minecraft.jar and paste them into there. Yeah, it takes a little while. Now go back to that jar folder in uh, the other mod folder. Open up the armor folder and copy all these PNG files. Copy them all. Now go to your Minecraft.jar and you're going to scroll down to your armor folder. You should see it right there. Copy it. Uh, just open that up and now you're going to paste those PNG files that we copied. Put them in there. And you're done with that. And now for the final, last but not least, uh, sounds for the, the mod. You want to back out of your Minecraft.jar. You want to back out of the bin folder and you want to go to your Minecraft folder. And near the bottom you should say resources. Double click that to open it. And just stay here for now. Go back to your other mod folder. Open up resources. Then copy the mod folder. And you should already have a mod folder in here, but it will contain nothing at all, just a few folders with nothing in them. Um, and also, and it, it will be the same. Like if you if you already like let's say mo creatures, it needs some some sounds. You will probably you're probably just gonna delete those sounds, and you can't even use them anyway. So you want to paste that mod folder back in here and replace it. Replaced, and that's I think that's it. Yeah, just close out of that. Close out of everything. Open up your Minecraft. Let's see how much longer I have. I got I got two minutes. Here we go. So log in. And when we once we get past the black screen, the Mojang symbol, we're good to go. Let's see, um, we're gonna open up this just random thing. And let me just show you how to get started with this. Uh, hold on, actually. Sorry about this. Let me just give myself some glowstone. And also while I'm doing this, um you can uh you can have too many items installed with um the other mod, but you can't have single player commands, which is a bummer, but they're trying to figure out a way to make that happen. So you can install too many items if you want. And I don't know why it's not working. This is weird. But quickly, before I run out of time, I have barely any time left. What you're going to have is you can get your glowstone. Just um, place four glowstone at the bottom. And then go on top and go one, two, three, four. Jump down and then close that off at the top. Close it off right there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to get your bucket of water. Let's say this is my bucket of water. Right click in there and then it should create a portal. And yeah, so then jump, get in there and just wait there and it should send you to the other and have fun. I'll be making a other tutorial video soon. Um, don't, don't forget to watch my other too many items video and my single player commands video. Um, I think this is it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.